this video, we are going to find the exact value of inverse tangent. Here we have y is equal to tangent inverse of negative 1. And we want to find the exact value of inverse tangent. So we see we have an equation in the form y is equal to tangent inverse of x, where x is our input value. So the first thing we want to do is we want to observe the domain of inverse tangent. The domain of tangent inverse x is from negative infinity to positive infinity. And we're just going to check our input value, which is negative 1. Sure enough, negative 1 falls within negative infinity to positive infinity, so we can continue. Now we're going to take the tangent of both sides. So we say tangent of y is equal to negative 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves, where on the unit circle does tangent of y equal negative 1? Well, it can only happen in two locations, and that's in the second quadrant or the fourth quadrant, because we have coordinates in the form a comma b, and tangent of y takes on the value b over a. So this can only happen when we have coordinates negative root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and also when we have coordinates root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. Because when you divide your b over a, you get a negative 1. So now let us draw our unit circle. So if we draw our unit circle, We go ahead and put the second quadrant location, and that is going to be at 3 pi over 4. And that is going in the positive direction. If we were to go to the negative direction, we get negative 5 pi over 4. And here we have coordinates negative root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Similarly, in the fourth quadrant, here we have 7 pi over 4, and that is if we go into the positive direction. However, if we go into the negative direction, we get negative pi over 4. And here we have coordinates root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. Now we can't just choose any value for y. We must consider the range of inverse tangent. So the range of tangent inverse x is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So that actually eliminates the whole left side of the unit circle, and we're only focusing on the right side of the unit circle. Because here we have negative pi over 2, and we have pi over 2 here. So we're saying that we can only stay within negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Keep in mind that we have parentheses here. That means that we're not actually including negative pi over 2 or pi over 2, but we can have values that come very, very close to them. So now we need to ask ourselves, which one of these values are we going to choose? Are we going to choose 7 pi over 4 or negative pi over 4? Well, 7 pi over 4 starts from 0 and it comes around. Clearly, we see that it's coming outside of our range. It comes around and it stops here. So we're going outside of the range. We cannot choose 7 pi over 4. However, negative pi over 4 starts from 0 and goes into the negative direction and stops here. We do not go outside of the range, so we can only choose negative pi over 4. So we say that tangent of negative pi over 4 
is equal to negative 1, which means that negative pi over 4 is equal to tangent inverse of negative 1. And we are looking for y, so we say that y is equal to negative pi over 4. Okay? And that is how you find the exact value of inverse tangent. Thank you for watching, and hey, you're awesome.